Now we have one where we have the A and the C involved. So again, I plugged 0 in for X. So I didn't have all the table here. So 0 squared is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. And 0 minus 5 is a negative 5. Now I plug 1 in. 1 squared is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. And 2 minus 5 is a negative 3. Now again, notice I'm using the correct order of operations. 2 squared is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 5 is 3. And the last one, 3 squared is 9. 2 times 9 is 18. And 18 minus 5 is 13. Now you'll see that sometimes I just won't be able to fit all these on here. All right? And so in this problem here, actually I'm going to use um, this graph here, I guess. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, negative 5. Then I have 1, negative 3. And I have 2, 3, and I can't fit the 3, 13 on. So now I just find my points that are symmetrical, and I graph it. I notice because of that 2 in front of the x squared, it's narrower, but it's also shifted down 5 units. Now, if we do this next one, I plug 0 in, 0 squared is 0, 0 times negative 1 fourth is 0, and 0 plus 4 is 4. Plug 1 in, 1 squared is 1, 1 times negative 1 fourth is negative 1 fourth plus 4 is 3 and 3 fourths. 2 squared is 4, a negative 1 fourth times 4 is a negative 1, a negative 1 plus 4 would be 3. 3 squared is 9. 9 times negative 1 fourth, so negative 1 fourth times 9 is a negative 9 fourths, which is actually negative 2 and 1 fourth, plus 4 would be 1 and 3 fourths. Now, obviously with my graph, it's going to be pretty hard to see all this, but we have 0, 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I go 1, 3 and 3 fourths, 2, 3, and then, and so you can see how it's a pretty wide graph. It does open down, but it's a pretty wide graph. Again, it's wide because the A is less than 1. It's opening down because the A is negative. But do notice that it shifted up to 0, 4 for my vertex.